and welcome to my channel. My name is Cosplay Vicar. For a little while, I've had this idea uh, to have a little hologram device uh, that I could uh, have maybe have some photographs taken with my, my Darth Vader. Um, I love it in Star Wars Episode 3 when the different stormtroopers have that Order 66 moment where the hologram appears. Uh, here's some pictures I'm just going to show you on the screen. You know, inspiration that I'd seen. I thought, you know what, I'd love it uh, if I could have something similar. Uh, so when I'm trooping as Darth Vader, or maybe just for some photographs, could have a hologram uh, of the Emperor. I was thinking, could you actually make uh, something uh, that looks, you know, somewhat realistic for photographs. Uh, you know, a little hologram device that maybe uh, could look like the Emperor was communicating with Lord Vader. Um, so I've been kind of thinking about this for some while. I've been kind of playing through some different ideas of different ways we could do that. And so in some ways, this is a, this is a what, what happened video. So uh, I, I came up with a few different options. Now for Christmas, I'd got hold of, um, somebody bought me uh, some clear blue resin. And I'd used some clear red before to make some little LED light tops for my ghost trap. So I wanted to give this a go and see if this would work actually. Could I make a hologram looking print uh, for my 3D printer? So here's my clear blue um, resin. And I also used some clear white resin to, to make the, the base around here so what I did was I got hold of just one of these cheap LED uh, lights a couple of batteries uh, double A's in the back you know look kind of press button and the light would appear now what was quite cool about this one it came with a little remote control uh, which I quite liked uh, so you can turn it on and off by pressing the button it's not always work that well um, so I kind of liked that idea of taking an LED light, could I 3D print something that would go around that, that then my, uh, my resin print would go on top. So this is what I came up with. I'm just going to show you how I uh, designed it and came up with it now. But I'm really pleased with this. Um, it is not hyper realistic with, uh, um, uh, with a hologram, but because it's 3D printed with layer lines in it, it does slightly uh, have like, that kind of stripey effect. I found my Emperor Palpatine at a website called cults3d.com. I was really pleased with it, actually. I couldn't find anything like Thingiverse that was quite as nice as this. I wanted something that was just that, that hipster head kind of size. Uh, and I wanted something that I could print in uh, relatively uh, simple terms. A resin printer isn't going to cope with lots of overhang. And I wanted to have very little scaffolding. So I was really pleased with that. Uh, model that I found. I then got the hologram base from Thingiverse, but I had to do some significant editing to make it work for what I needed. Uh, one of the things I did have to do was cut it down the middle so I could print it in two pieces, as you can see on the screen. And uh, then I could glue it together. My 3D printer wouldn't let me print something of that width uh, in in one go. Uh, I also had to change the uh, size of the holes and things, so it doesn't look much like what it originally looked like. So when I was printed and glued, I then did an undercoat. And some spray putty and while that was drying I did a clear coat on my Emperor Palpatine just so he would really pop. Give it a good sand as you do with 3D printing. Uh, you don't have to do too much really with resin but I found that I did with this. There was quite a few print lines and I wasn't quite sure uh, why um, but I did give that a really good sand uh, once it was fully printed. Um, the other things that I used on this uh, that uh, I found quite helpful uh, Halfords do a really nice machine silver metallic spray paint and this covers 3D resin prints really well. Uh, so that's what I now use. I give it a good couple of, of coats just so I have nice solid uh, silver and then I go back in uh, with my airbrush. I do love my airbrush when you're trying to do uh, tones and shading. Uh, this works really well. So I then go in with my airbrush and uh, just pick out some accent points, uh, points where I thought it, I could make it look a little bit more aged, a little older. And then I, uh, this is one of my favorite uh, paints and it's like a brassy, uh, rusted uh, kind of color. It's got hints of browns and reds in there, but I think it does make the metal um, paint just look like it's a really warm metal. I love it. 
And then it's the same spray paint that I used on my Death Trooper uh, blaster. So I, I then go in with this wonderful metallic blue. Uh, what I'm thinking is the light will reflect off that really well once Emperor Palpatine uh, is in there as a hologram form. Glue gun, the shell of the light over, the resin print, glue gun to uh, attach that. And then I decided I was going to use glue gun as well to attach Emperor Palpatine, partly because I wanted the base to be quite uneven. What I didn't want uh, was it just to stay uh, as, as is, really, nice and flat. I wanted it to look like light. Uh, so what I did was I uh, used a lot more glue gun uh, glue than I might do usually uh, just then so that I can go back in then with my paintbrush at the end of my paintbrush I can um, really prod about with the glue to make it look like it's light leaking around the edges. The final steps then are to simply to go in and to use some rub and buff and uh, to do some dry rubbing just to try and make some of those edges pop. My rub and buff had significantly dried out, so I'm having to really work hard uh, to get it onto the edges of things. Rub and buff is beautiful to make the edges look like they're worn. So I'm just going in here to rub in some of that. It also shines really nicely, so you can make accent edges and accent points. What I may do in the future, though, is, is go in with some dirty uh, paint, you know, very liquidy, um, black dirty water just to to kind of get some uh, dirt into those edges so this is the final emperor palpatine in his hologram state i was really pleased with how it turned out to say this was just a a couple of days project a couple of days printing that's with the lights on i think it works really nice i can't wait to get some photographs of vader holding emperor palpatine in his hands getting his orders i hope you found this interesting if you did like share the video it's always helpful when people like the channel and subscribe to the channel. It just means that more people get drawn here as well. So I'd uh, love you to do that if you enjoyed this video. Now until next time, enjoy cosplaying and I'll see you soon.